The window of opportunity is closing. The window of opportunity to buy Toronto real estate investment is closing. Yossi Kaplan here, Toronto real estate agent, mortgage broker, and today I'm going to explain to you why the window of opportunity is closing, why it may be too late for you to start buying. I'll continue. Okay, Yossi Kaplan here, Toronto real estate agent, mortgage broker with Search Realty and Search Mortgage. Uh, GTA is absolutely best brokerage. Okay, we are Google partners. We're super sophisticated. It's a tech company. It's a real estate brokerage. I've never seen anything like that. I'm so happy to be there. So, why is the window is closing? It's very simple. Um, when these condos were built, there's Kingley here. You know, that thing was sold for about 600 a foot, maybe 700 a foot, okay? Now you can go in the open market, 1,000 a foot, 1,100 a foot, maybe 1,200 a foot for a nice high floor unit with a good view. By the way, this is the commercial part. That's where Indigo and Shopify are sitting. And I'll just point my phone. It's kind of hard to see behind a tree, but that's the condo part. The condo part is the one uh, uh, facing uh, north mostly to Adelaide, 507 Adelaide, okay? 525 Adelaide here, so on. So what, what does it mean? That thing uh, was sold for six or $700 a foot, you know? Now it's selling for 1000 very good. Congratulations, anyone that bought here nearly doubled the investment. And don't forget, they only put 15% or 20% of the 600. So they put, you know, 120, $150 a foot, but really they gained $400 a foot. So the actual investment they put is, is more than doubled. It's a lot more because that's the leverage. It's the power of leverage. That's the power of real estate. But now if you had to buy this condo again at 1200 a foot or 1400 a foot or 1500 a foot, 1600 a foot, and some of these condos at Yorkville are asking, you know, 15, 16, 17, 1800 a foot, that creates a big problem because what happens is the carrying costs on these condos are enormous. Okay, the condo fees are still 80 cents a foot, that's fine. The taxes are 1%, you know, that's a little higher because the price is so high. So, you know, I, I used to calculate about $1 per square foot for fixed costs. Fixed cost is the condo fees and the tax. Those are fixed, you know, can't change them. Uh, they, I have to pay them every month or, you know, the taxes you don't pay every month, but let's just say you amortize it every month. So, you know, I used to say 600 uh, square feet condo cost me about, you know, I save aside $600 a month and the rest is mortgage, right? And assume tenant pays the hydro. So that, in that case, and that uh, one bedroom, 600, you know, generates me, um, say, 2,200 or 2,000. I'm making 1,400, 1,500, 1,600 cash flow before mortgage. So now all I got to do is match the amount of mortgage to the amount of money that left over after the fixed cost. And I can uh, break even or I can uh, increase the mortgage and take some money out or increase the deposit, take some money out. You know, there's a lot of games you can play here, which is fine. But what happens when I pay 1500 instead of 600 uh, for that condo? The amount of mortgage is just jumping astronomically. And they jump into levels that no rent can cover up for them. So now i got a problem because now I have a beautiful condo that I bought at a very high price and I paid $800,000 for 600 square feet, okay? Uh, that condo carries for, say, 3500 a month or 4000 a month. Can I get 4000 a month for that 600 square feet? Of course not. It's just not going to happen. And people say, well, in Yorkville, people pay more. Yeah, but in Yorkville, there's so many buildings, so many towers. There's so much choice. And the people that, you know, they pay um, the, the renters, usually they're on salaries. Okay? They're not entrepreneurs. They're on salaries. They have fixed amount. And they can only pay so much. So they're going to have to find some other solution. That's why you're seeing moving out of Toronto. That's why I'm talking to you. Move to, to Hamilton or Guelph Kitchen and Waterloo areas. Okay. Um, and, and those have their own problems. They're not perfect either, of course, and, and uh, there's more to be said about that. But the, the reason the window is closing, and uh, I've heard that for many years, but if you look at the amount of money left over after you as a landlord, as an investor, is paying for your condo, you may have negative return. That means that you need to put more money out of your pocket every month to keep that condo afloat. Now, if it's $100, $200, $300 a month, no, no big deal really because it's still a great investment and, and yes, you know, we live in an inflationary economy, that means the prices all have to go up. They just have to go up because we're paying money, okay? Um, that, that's just a fact in, in this economy. No one can change that unless we just change the rules how we work around it, uh, how the whole economy works. So now I've got a problem that the cost, the carrying costs, which are the three basic elements, the mortgage, the condo fees, the taxes, exceed the higher more than uh, the cost, the, the, the price, the rental income. So what do I do? You know, I can put a little bit more money uh, every month. 
I can put a larger deposit, or I can buy cheaper. So, you know, so, and the other thing is, think about it this way, okay? And that, that probably will illustrate it even better. What's faster? What do you think is faster? Uh, get a condo I bought at $400 foot, uh, up to 800 foot, and let's say I pay $400,000 for the condo and double to $800,000 uh, 800, for the condo, or get a condo, you know, same size, but I buy in Yorkville, and I pay $800,000 for that condo, same size, just buy in a fancy area, and now get it to 1.6 million. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? It's a lot faster and easier to double the price, double the value of my investment when I buy a little cheaper. Why? Because it's a natural thing. It's a natural state of things. You know, the economy is built in a big pyramid. That means that the bottom pyramid is very wide. That's all the people that make less money, and the very top are the gazillionaires, and the billionaires below them, and the millionaires below them, and the upper class uh, below them, and the middle class below them, and the lower class below them, and those who have nothing at all uh, at the very bottom. Okay, so the very bottom had the least amount of uh, property and uh, assets and money available to them, and the very top has the most. Okay. But if I'm, if I'm buying a product and I think, oh, you know, it's good, it's going to take five years to build, six years to build, I'm, bu I'm, I'm buying a 1,500 foot, would it actually double itself to $3,000 a foot in five or six years? I don't think so. But if I buy today a condo at $600 a foot outside of Toronto, um, would it, would it, does it have a chance to double itself uh, in five or six years? I don't know if it's going to double itself, but I think percentage-wise, it's probably going to do better. But here's the thing, because I bought a cheaper unit, that means also, you know, my return, money return, uh, is less because the amount I started with is less. So there's a bit of a game here. So I'm not saying don't buy the expensive ones, don't buy the $1,500 foot condos, no. But I'm saying you got to look at what kind of investor are you and what kind of assets you have available to you. So if you are, you know... <coughs> You can buy one condo at half a million. Um, if you can still find a half a million one bedroom uh, studio in Toronto, run and do it. Call me and find one and close on it. Don't wait because everyone else is looking. And if you can, then you know you're going to have to find one of those outside of Toronto, which is fine. Run, don't wait, do it. Uh, now, if you, can, if you can buy a $1,500 condo in Toronto, $1,500 foot, you know, you're going to spend um, $800,000, $900,000 and 600 square feet. You gotta understand that's a very long-term investment, okay? It's, 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 you may make some money on flipping, but the ROI, the percentage is gonna be lower because you start with a very high amount. So, you know, if you, if you buy a $600 foot and you made a $100 foot, that's 16.66%, okay? If you buy a $1,500 uh, a foot and you made a $100 foot, 1,600, um, what is that? That's a lot less, right? That's about half. <laughs> so you see what I'm saying? So if you have the money, if you have the assets, if you have the deep pockets, go for it. Buy yourself a beautiful unit, high floor, two corner bedroom uh, with view and terrace and parking. Buy the best you can because you know Toronto is the best city in the world. So invest in Toronto, invest in yourself and understand it's a long term thing. But if you are more tight on funds, and most of us are, then buy something you can afford today and don't wait for it because you know I think that most people when they wait for it i'm going to save more money they actually can't do it because life gets in the way expenses gets in the way maybe i'll just get this and before you know it something happens and you know your savings just don't follow as fast as inflation does inflation is that when the price of everything rises so the prices of condo rises so that's inflation okay whether they calculate it and show you in the paper if it's i, I don't care that's inflation when the condo prices go up by 10% a year, that's inflation. That's 10% inflation. Okay, but your salary only goes by two or three, and after taxes, you get half of that. So, you know, if you're on salary, you're only making one, two, three percent increase unless you jump jobs or have a second job or team up with, you know, a partner of sorts. It could be wife, husband, cousin, friend, neighbor, it doesn't matter. There's a video I made, how to buy with a partner. Now, that's a really good opportunity. So, you know, I have $100,000, you have $100,000. Uh, both we have enough salaries to justify the mortgage, the pre-approval. So let's go call Yossi, invest in a property together. That's totally fine. And, you know, one of you can live in it, two of you can live in it. You can just run an investment. It doesn't matter. But you have something. And then after 10 years, you have a lot of a something. And after 20 years, you have a lot of a something because it's been paid for. 
and the, pro the price probably is worth two, three, four times as much, and you're really happy because it was a one-time thing to do. Okay, same with, the, same with assignments. If you can today buy an assignment, you have the cash to buy an assignment, you can, you know, it's a time machine. You can go back in time and, and buy, let's say, um, I, can, I, I see still assignments at Nobu for 11 and 1200 a foot. So 1200 a foot in Nobu is fantastic because everyone around it, uh, everything around it is selling for 15, 16, 17, 1800 a foot. So I'm getting 30% uh, discount. And Nobu is far from completion. Okay, so by the time Noble will be completed, prices probably will be fifteen, sixteen hundred a foot there. So if you buy twelve hundred, you make three or four hundred dollar foot. Then you made like thirty percent of your investment on the assignments at Noble. So that's very good. Okay, so that's how I look at these things. It, it, it's all relative. It's relative. You know, it's relative to you, who you are, um, what kind of person you are, what kind of money you have available to you, um, how much you know about the industry. It's very complicated. It's not like you can just like boom. So give me a call, let me know what you're looking for, but do me a favor, I got a lot of people call me, like tons of people call me every day, especially like as the week progresses, I get more and more calls. But a lot of people don't take any action. They kind of think about it and then they just drop off. So, you know, um, if you're not ready, that's okay. Give me a call, talk to me. I'll put you on the main list or make sure you're on the investor newsletter. At least you get some information. You know what's going on, you keep a tab on it. It takes exactly 10 seconds to kind of scan an email, maybe you want to click up a couple of links, watch a video too, spend 10 minutes a week, 10 minutes a day, and you'll be an expert in no time, but you got to take action. And if you are looking to sell because you have a bunch of assignments condo available, give me a call, I'll tell you what they're worth, how long they're going to take to sell, how much it's going to cost. That's what everyone wants to know. How much is my investment worth? How long is it going to take me to sell? And, and how much will it cost me? How much will I keep in the pocket? Okay, so I'll give you that information too. And hopefully, from all these uh, searching, because I get a lot of people that call me and ask me a lot of questions, but very few actually take action. Those who take action, those who take positive affirmative action, they do really well. All you gotta do is take a little bit of action every day. So take, and you know, it's like I sound like a life coach here, but that's really what it is. You know, real estate is really, it's, it's a part of life coaching, understanding your true value, understanding you can play this game, understanding you can, you can be worth a million dollars or two million dollars or five or 10 or 20 million dollars. I've seen so many people, just normal people, just like you and me, having great jobs and just making very nice, considerable steps, one after another, after another, after another, you know? And before you know it, suddenly you have a condo, then you have two, then you have three, then you have four, then you have five, then you have ten, and you're really happy. That's it.